Okay, let's talk about RSS feed readers. Um, what we have here, I'm in the members only site of stage.com. I click on profile, and in my personal profile here is where we show your three different websites that you can use for advertising your stage.com business. We've also added your RSS feeds link. If you click on this um, little question mark tab here, it comes out with some information that says this is your RSS feed link. It contains your 20 most recent stages. Submit this URL to feed readers to increase the traffic that your stage is generating. So if we were to click on this link, what we'd get to is this page right here. And you'll see that it's got the 20 most recent links, uh, the link to the stage and the description for this member of stage.com. Now, what happens is you have these, uh, these programs or these companies, these websites, if you want to call it that, uh, that are called feed readers. Um, I found this URL right here, and it gives you a huge list of feed readers right here. And what a feed reader does is it allows them to, to it allows you to give them your feed reader your RSS link and you can submit it to them. For example, let's just go to I don't know RSS network. They all work pretty much the same. So you can see they're asking you for your RSS URL. So you'd come back over here to your member site. And I'm just holding down my left mouse button and uh, dragging across to highlight my URL, right click on it, left click on copy, and then I come back over here and right click here and click on paste. Um, now they've already got the HTTP in there, some other sites are going to do this, so you just get rid of that. Um, so again, all of these websites operate the same, more or less. Some of them make you join, you know, give us your first name, your last name, your email address, to join the RRS feed um, group or the network and then they allow you to give them your URL and then you can choose a category um, and then you hit submit and then what happens is every single time you create a new stage or if you use the stage bot to create a new stage it ends up on your RSS link on this website right here and what happens next is a, a company like the RSS network every so often they check everyone's URLs to see if there's anything new that's been added to their URL well when they notice that a new stage has been added to your RSS link they update that on their end and create what's called a backlink to your stage to this specific stage that just got added to your RSS link website. Now, backlinks are what Google and Yahoo and all the major search engines like to see uh, on your websites, or in this case, on our stages. When there's backlinks to our stages, it helps those stages rank higher in the Google search results. And of course, higher rankings means you get more traffic. So what we recommend doing is, um, in the member site here, take your RSS feed link and come to a website like this that gives you a huge list and just submit it to every single one of these um, feed readers. And then what's going to happen is every time a new stage is created by you or the stage bot and gets added to your RSS feed link, then um, all of these feed readers that you've submitted that URL to are going to notice that and they're going to make an update on their side that creates a backlink to your new stage and this will happen for every new stage that gets created from here on out and those backlinks help your stage rank higher in the search engines.